What's up? Yeah. Happy weekend to all of you, my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes from March 2024, and all of our members. We got quite a few gifted members, thanks to uh, a few individuals from the birthday, I mean, the, uh, what, the 10th anniversary stream. <laughs> but anyways, uh, got nothing else going on, so we're going to just do a GTA Online chill stream today on the PS5. Destiny Metal TV. Hello. How's it going, Destiny? Shogun. Hey, Je hey Shogun. How you doing? Uh, Belfast is here. What's up, Be Belfast? <laughs> Icarus is also here. Hello, Icarus. What's good with you? Okay, so I was debating what to stream today because next weekend I will not be streaming. Well, not on Saturday. One of my nephews has a birthday party and I've been invited to attend. So I'll be attending my nephew's birthday party next Saturday. So I at least wanted to do something today. And I didn't feel like buying uh, the new Ronin game. I'm kind of on the fence about it. Like I was watching Pat, a.k.a. the professional, play it last night. I've seen some reviews on it. It's really like over the, the middle. It's like it's in the middle, basically. And I'm just not feeling it. So I didn't want to 
waste money on a game that I may not end up liking. Maybe I'll wait till uh, more reviews come out when it comes to the uh, Rise of the Ronin. And uh, maybe I'll wait for a discount. Helldivers 2, I don't know. I'm just not really, really feeling Helldivers 2, so I didn't want to waste money on that either. I've already wasted enough money this year on stuff. And it was either going to be this or else y'all were going to get a Jurassic World Evolution 2 stream where I would just show y'all my parks and the latest park I'm working on. But I just thought, I don't know if y'all want to see that. So I decided, you know what, let's just do a GTA chill stream for like two plus hours, hang out, talk about random stuff, and hopefully have a, a good time. Maybe have some interesting discussions along the way. Let's see, Ikra says, I pre order Sea of Thieves. Yeah, I, I still got to do that. Kane keeps telling me to do it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be spending money on is Sea of Thieves because I'm excited about it coming to PS5. And apparently, I'll be able to transfer over my uh, character from uh, Xbox to PlayStation. Good. Because I have stuff with, with that character, and I'd like to keep that character and the content that the character has without having to start completely over. No, thank you. But yeah, excited about Sea of Thieves, and yeah, there will be Sea of Thieves streams in the future. You know what's funny? There were going to be more Sea of Thieves streams on the channel years ago when it first launched, but it just had a, it didn't really have much going on. It was the very first early days of Sea of Thieves, and uh, since then, Rare, to their credit, has really added a lot more content to Sea of Thieves. So I am excited to embark on some high sea swashbuckling adventures. And see if these on PS5 when it officially launches, I think sometime in, what, mid-late April? That's going to be cool. And, of course, playing with friends. Uh, Fat, what's up, Fat? Hey, GB, hope you're well today. Sorry I won't stay long. I'm going shopping later on with Mama Bear. Well, it's fine. I appreciate you stopping by, Fat. Hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you're uh, you know, having a good time with your mom. Let's see, Icarus says, been watching a lot of streams to get a feel for the game. Yeah, I, I think the game has come a long way since it first launched. And even though it, it is kind of like the characters, like the character model is kind of cartoony. And yeah, I mean, some people get turned off by that, but it's it's everything else that makes the game amazing. Like the, the it has like the best ocean in video games right now. It's beautiful. It still is years later. So I look forward to it. Like, checking that out on the PS5. Uh, Ghost, what's up, Ghost? How's it going? Yeah, I saw that. I saw the roadmap video for Sea of Thieves, and I think that's even more reason to be excited when it comes to, like, veteran uh, Sea of Thieves players or old-school Sea of Thieves players like me or new Sea of Thieves players like the PlayStation Pirates. That'll be uh, setting sail coming up in about a month from now. So, yeah, th there's going to be some Sea of Thieves streams. Oh, yes. Arg, matey. At least that's a pirate game to look forward to playing, unlike Skull of Bones. Kind of sad. A lot of potential there, but... Well... That's Ubisoft for you. I mean, it's not like they had a whole decade to make a fucking game. A quadruple A game. But anyways, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Let's go play some GTA Online. I don't know what we're into in GTA Online. We'll just probably goof off, hang out drive around i mean i'll be honest this event week is very mid it's uh crap so i don't know if i even care for it it's like yay they bring back motor wars again whoop de do but i'm sure we'll find something to do we'll, we'll sort it out maybe we'll do like some chop shop stuff or something and maybe some cool conversations from all of you. My amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods, heroes with their OG GB logo, you know, from 10 years ago. That's right. The channel is officially 10 years old now. Crazy. So, yeah, thank you so much to our uh, Super Chat heroes and, of course, our members. And speaking of members, if you want to learn more about the membership program, click the join button. Unique badges, emojis, uh, shout outs at the beginning of live streams. You get featured below in the description section of live streams. Early access to one video a week. You get uh, a unique role in Discord. And uh, you get featured in the about section of the channel. And I had to make some sacrifices in the about section of the channel just to add all the gifted members. Thanks to uh, Kane and Yuji and I believe Fern. I think those three clowns uh, were the ones who like 
gave me a whole bunch of gifted memberships for the 10th anniversary stream, so I do appreciate it, guys. But I managed to squeeze all the gifted members in the About section because, look, the About section is limited to how much you can put in the About section. You can put a lot more in the Description section of videos and live streams, but I, I made it work. So, yeah, all members included in the About section, including the Elite members, including uh, Belfast Gamer, who's in the chat, UG Outlaw, Latino Bunny, Fat Chinese Gaming, also in the chat, Angry Veteran Forge, Deluxe members, Aslan, ACG, Red the 8-Bit Dinosaur, Dark Matter Wolf. Junior members include Tokyo Tent, Hutch Plays, Brett, Kane, Icarus, Fernando Martinez, Tyler98735, Tommy Angelo Jr., Sinistar, Eric Bell, Fluffy Wolf. Now, if you excuse me, I need a drink real quick before we go over the gifted members because there's a few of them. <laughs> God. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sweat my whistle, you know. I got to brace myself for this. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Make sure I have plenty of oxygen. Don't want to pass out. I want to get through this. Okay, are you all ready? <laughs> Let's do it. The gifted members. <laughs> Once again, thanks to uh, Kane, Yuji, and uh, Fern. <laughs> Here we go. Gifted members include Mr. Grumpy Wombat, Lewis. Sinister, John Law, Snake, who always sometimes, he always somehow manages to get a gifted membership. I don't know how he does it. Uh, Proton Jack, UK Gamer, Number One Pinhead, Aaron, Stellar, RR, Miss Kentucky Girl, Chantel, 1070, Ghost Dragon, JM58, Jeremy's World, Izuku, Mr. Tay Daniel, Anne's Human, Jose Melendez, Maddie, Ben, King Easy, Kari, and Vinge. I survived. <laughs> For now. Gifted members, junior members, deluxe members, and elite members, along with March 2024 Super Chat Heroes, going above and beyond for the GB Nation. Oh, man. I did it. I did it. You know what you did, UG? You and Kane and Fern of your gifted memberships. But by the way, gifted members, I hope you enjoy the benefits you do get. I think I can actually claim the T-shirt, the HVY shirt. I hope they made that to where if you've already bought it in the past, you know, the, the HVY vehicles, like the Insurgent Pickup. Let me look at this. Can I claim it? Uh, enter in GTA Online. I guess I can claim it. I, mean, I didn't buy it this week. I bought it years ago, so yeah. Anyways, let's catch up a chat. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? You've been playing a lot of World of Warships? Well, I hope you're enjoying it, Belfast. Pretty stoked to play CFDs. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm really excited to get back into it. You're going to be buy uh, CFDs for PS5 on some point? Okay, cool, Destiny. Uh, noob, how's it going, Noob? Uh, Icarus, I'm surprised that with a new Jeep does or off-road. Yeah, I love the Terminus. I absolutely love that, that Jeep. I mean, obviously, most of us were thinking about the Gauntlet Interceptor, you know, when it came to those two two vehicles. But I, I feel like the Terminus is amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So, do I get do I get the T-shirt? I wonder if I actually got the T-shirt. I'm going to a freaking uh, friend lobby. Let's do that, and then any friends are welcome to join. I don't know why I pull out my ear pods when I'm going to go into voice chat. Yeah. So I'm going to hop into voice chat in the Discord. We may have a few peeps join us. All right. There we go. Let me make sure OBS has everything working properly. You're saving up for the Terminus after buying the gauntlet? Yeah, I, I get that. I mean, look, I, I enjoy the gauntlet. I think it is expensive as hell, but it's one of those situations where it's your money, and if you want to buy it, then buy it. I mean, for the record, I don't regret buying the Gauntlet Interceptor, but I have I've grown a, a certain fondness towards the Terminus. What's up? All right, so I guess we're waiting for uh, some friends to show up. We will do, I guess, some uh, tow truck role play. Yay. <laughs> All right. There we go. Uh, the Terminus handles Mount Chiliad easily. I haven't used it to go up Mount Chiliad yet. Maybe I'll do that today. 
I mean, that doesn't surprise me. It's an extremely efficient off-road vehicle. It's like the Skyrim horse. I don't even use the Skyrim horse. Like, I, I've had it a couple times. And of course, I, I named it Galaxy Traveler because I've used that name for video game horses forever. So what a shock. GB named a video game horse Galaxy Traveler. Oh, wow. I don't know. I, I'd rather just... I got to a certain point in Skyrim where after I traveled everywhere, I would just fast travel. I think that's what happens after a while. You just get to the point where like, okay, I just want to go over here. I just want to go over there. You know. But I hope that eventually we get Elder Scrolls 6. Maybe one day. But I think we're getting GTA 6 prior to Elder Scrolls 6. Which is, that's fine by me. It's just a question of whether or not it's actually coming in 2025 or 2026. That's what, I guess... Some of the so-called gaming sites were clickbaiting. And, uh, hello. Hello. How are you doing, Destiny? Doing good. Nice. Yeah, so these freaking game journalist sites are finally cracking down on their quote-unquote game journalists and saying, hey, could y'all go back to uh, writing gaming articles, please? Some of, some of the so-called journalists aren't happy about it. Well, aww. But you want to write that kind of stuff? Go somewhere else or start your own blog or, you know. Yeah. I just feel like if you're, if you're going to work for a gaming website like Kotaku or GameSpot or IGN, then write gaming-related stuff, please. If you want, if you want political yeah. stuff, there's political sites to go to. Go throw your political hot takes elsewhere. And people wonder why Jason Schreier left Kotaku. Yeah. <laughs> and look, they're they're all political. Like even Jason Schreier's political beliefs. He he's smart enough to realize what people want as a gaming journalist. You know, and that's his focus. Yeah. You know, because that's his job, and he gets that. And so I, I don't care if they're conservative, liberal, or moderate. It's just that when, when it's your fucking job to be a gaming journalist, just focus on that, please. <laughs> it, and at the very least, he actually does what a journalist is supposed to do and actually get reliable information. Yeah, most of the time. I mean, like, nobody's perfect, and there have been times when Schreier's been wrong about something, but, you know, it happens. It's not the end of the world. But I, I think he has a pretty good record compared to others out there. Say the Terminus is your, in your top five now, Icarus. That doesn't surprise me. I do like the, the Terminus. Noob says Kotaku is always doing clickbait and other scummy stuff. Yeah, and that's why more and more people have grown tired of Kotaku. I mean, I don't, I don't really care much for them anymore. I mean, I used to like them back in the day, but... And look, I don't, I don't, I'm not one of these absolutionists. I mean, I think IGN makes some good content still. They make good articles. I mean, they've also had some very questionable articles too. Uh, the same thing goes for for GameSpot and and other sites. But all I'm saying is, for those of you that are working for these companies, if you have political hot takes, then create an alias and go post it somewhere else on the side. You know. Just try and create a fucking barrier, you know? I mean, I try to. I mean, sometimes I fell miserably at it. But at least I try to mostly keep my content here entertainment gaming related. I mean, yeah, occasionally I'll give you a political take, but, you know, at, at least I try to shit on everybody. <laughs> you know, when it comes to my politics. All right, there we go. We got the Zion delivered. Icarus says, "Never did like Kotaku. They just surf Reddit and <laughs> siphon everything." Yeah, that does sound like Kotaku. Right. Exactly, noob. I mean, they're just going by the the same information some of us have been covering regarding Rockstar asking their employees 
uh, to come back to the office. And, you know, I've been reading the comments in uh, the video I made last week, and there's been some interesting comments. Most people uh, agree with my hot take. Some people that disagree actually make valid points because there are people that were hired. Like uh, Click Taser, he mentioned this in the comments, is that, you know, there are people that were hired remotely, you know, that live nowhere near one of the Rockstar offices. And so my opinion about that, and I said this to Click Taser, is that if Rockstar made you know a deal with certain employees then they should keep their word right because i do believe in people and companies keeping their words i know companies keeping their words where are you smoking gb not the same stuff my dad used to <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean i think that remote employees i mean if rockstar hired them and, and said they would have a job and it was okay for them to work remotely then they should honor that agreement or they should financially, like, help them, assist them with finding a new place to live closer to one of their offices and help them relocate, you know? I mean, these are multi-billion dollar companies. I guess whenever I think of somebody working remotely, it's the employees that are already in the area, you know, like at Rockstar North, right? Oh, I, I can actually park my car in here? Okay, I didn't know that. I guess you get like one parking spot, but I accidentally did that. So I'm not, I wasn't, admittedly, I wasn't really thinking about, you know, strictly remote workers from hours and hours away or hundreds, thousands of miles away or in uh, different countries. But I do understand why Rockstar wants employees to work on the game at the office where it's probably a lot more secure and they're able to focus on, you know, getting the game ready in its final stages. So I, I see it from both points yeah. of view. I uh, see Belfast, uh, the new Ghostbusters were released in cinemas yesterday. Did you go watch it, Belfast? As some of you know, I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan and the original Ghostbusters is my favorite movie of all time. But even I am not really feeling Frozen Empire. Man. Well, I watched it yesterday. And uh, what is your opinion about Frozen Empire? It it, it was okay at best. That doesn't sound like, good. <laughs> yeah. I gave it like a 6 out of 10. Ouch. Not as, not as good as Afterlife, but not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, but Just kind I, of mid to be honest. I expect better from a Ghostbusters movie, though. So, and I, look, I wasn't the biggest fan of Afterlife after I watched it. I mean, I thought Afterlife was okay. I I think Ghostbusters one is S tier on my list. I would say Ghostbusters two is is A tier. I know people don't. There's some people that don't like Ghostbusters two, but I like Ghostbusters two. Like, we're not even going to talk about that 2016 movie. <laughs> but Afterlife, I, I wouldn't even put it in the same category as Ghostbusters 2. So it, it's sad that that's what I've been hearing from people. Because I've been also trying to avoid spoilers. But it seems like most people have are trying to be nice about Frozen Empire, but they're not exactly having good things to say about it either. And for the life of me, I just don't get it. I don't understand. You spend millions of dollars on these movies, right? And you can't hire writers to write a good fucking story? Like, I don't understand that. I mean, their first problem was also not getting the uh, director of Afterlife back for this. Well, isn't he like a... He was a producer, right? And he also helped with the... I mean, he helped with the script, I think. So that might have been part of the problem. I mean, he was he was one of the co-writers, but he didn't direct the movie. It was somebody else. Well, I'm sure that he could have if he wanted to. I think he chose not to direct this one. Because I th I think that what Jason Reitman, you know, Ivan Reitman's son, who directed the first Ghostbusters movie, I think if he wanted to, he could have directed this one as well. But you know, Jason chose not to. 
So, but that, that's my point. Like, there are good writers out there. And people that are also, that are writers that are fans of Ghostbusters and have had ideas for what they think a Ghostbusters movie could be or sequel. And yet the best they could come up with was Frozen Empire. It's so disappointing. Like, I just, I don't know. And I'll say another thing. I do feel like there's, like, a lot of the cast from Afterlife that should have not come back. Like, Spangler's granddaughter, yeah, bring her back, okay? Because she was kind of the star of the show. But what's his name? Um, the dude from, her brother, the dude from Stranger Things? I don't think he was necessary. I don't think his girlfriend was necessary. Or, or maybe even, I look, as much as I like Paul Rudd, I don't even know if it was necessary to bring him back. Well, <laughs> but look, I think you'll be happy to know that um, those characters aren't in the movie that much. Well, that's probably a wise thing, you know. <laughs> I just don't know why they do that. It's like there's some people that, you know, it's fine to leave them in Oklahoma, okay? Leave their characters in Oklahoma and let them have a life there. See, uh, Icarus says articles rehash the same. Oh, they just reworded it? Okay. Well, what a shock. That's that's just fucking lazy right there, but it doesn't surprise me. It's not the same about Harold Ramis. I mean, Harold Ramis was a very important part of Ghostbusters, along with Dan Aykroyd. I mean, they were the brains behind the first Ghostbusters movie. But, you know, sadly, he passed away, you know, before they could do an actual third movie. I do count the 2009 video game. I think I think that I would put the you know, Ghostbusters 2009 video game as, like, my third game, third movie in the franchise. Because, <laughs> you know, they were all in it. Harold Ramis, Ernie Hudson, Dan Aykroyd, and somehow Bill Murray. <laughs> <laughs> And also Annie Potts, you know, she was there because I love Janine. So, I mean, I, I've named several of my characters Janine because of Janine. Okay. Oh, yeah, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That looks promising from what little they show us. So, I'm, I'm, yeah. very, I'm very interested in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. What, what did you think about the trailer? From what they showed us, it was a good uh, teaser trailer. Yeah, it was. And I, see, that's just the I thing. Just, I don't want to see any more. I just want to wait till it comes out and go watch it. Unfortunately, though, <laughs> Tim Burton hasn't really been, like, you know, the best director in years. Yeah. So I, I hope, like, you know... Now that he's, like, directing this again, and he's sort of back in directing, that he can actually, uh, you know, direct good movies again. But I guess we'll see about that. Yeah. I did read an interesting quote. He said that he was actually, it was felt like a, a recharge or refreshing for him to come back to Beetlejuice because, like, they're relying on practical effects, like, like stop motion instead of, relying all on CGI. So he, he's Good. gone back to the basics for this movie. And I'm, I'm really happy to hear that because I, I did I did I wanted this movie, like Beetlejuice Beetlejuice, to feel like a worthy sequel to the first movie because I love the original Beetlejuice. I still need to get Riley to watch it. But we're gonna watch it before the, the sequel comes out. And I just love the yeah. style of it, you know? I mean it still holds up to this day and that's that's what I wanted from that. I don't. Yeah. I don't want it to look different. I want it to feel like it. It's a. It's a worthy sequel, and not just a cash grab. Let's see. Uh, Yuji's on his way. Nice. Let's see. Uh, Noob says, "What do you think of the new?" A I have yet to watch the uh, new Alien trailer. I've been so disappointed by previous Alien films. I hear people say the trailer was good, but just like with Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the trailer can be good. But then the movie ends up not being. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. That one, the song, the OG actors. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Destiny. 
Yep. I will say the Alien Romulus teaser trailer was also kind of good. Yeah. Um. I do. I do think there is potential, just because. For one, this was supposed to be like a Hulu original movie before it went to theaters. Okay. And like Hulu's been, I will say, like has actually not been doing bad with uh, their original movies, especially for old franchises like it, you know, Hellraiser and Predator. You mean Prey? No, I mean. Well, yes, that's the name of the movie, yeah, but I mean, like, I know, it, Prey, I know it's a prequel. I mean, to... Predator yeah, I know, I know. is in the franchise. But yeah. yeah, so they've really been knocking it out of the park lately, so that's promising. And then you at least have, like, one of the. I don't know if he's, like, a producer or something, but I've heard he's, like, worked on Hellraiser and Prey and all that, so. Okay. That also fills me with a bit of excitement. Well, hopefully it's better than the last Alien movie. I heard the last one really, really sucked. It has vibes yeah. of Alien and Aliens. I The one thing I do know about it is I think it's set in between Alien and Aliens, similar to Alien Isolation. Now, Alien Isolation, I didn't play it, but I watched a lot of people play it, and that was a fun movie game to watch. I mean, it felt like a movie. Because it revolves around Ellen Ripley's daughter. But, I, I mean, I'll, I hope it turns out to be good. I hope it, like, reignites the the Alien franchise. Yeah. Like, they're, they're trying to make it, like, similar to the first one, basically. Yeah. And that's, that's definitely exciting. Because the first movie's pretty fucking good. It is, and so is Aliens. I like them both. It, it goes downhill after. Oh, that. yeah. But, yeah, Beetlejuice, yeah, the, yeah, Deo, yeah. Yeah, they have the choir singing it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, plus, you know, what makes Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice even better is Jenna Ortega. Yes. So, I'm happy about that. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I like Jenna Ortega. So, I haven't seen her in much stuff. In... Oh, she's really talented. I like her. I liked her. In, I like her as Wednesday. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And she's great as Wednesday. I've seen her in a couple other things, and like she's just one of these actresses that is. You know, most of the time when it comes to an actor or actress, they're kind of like, meh, you know. But every now and then, you come across one that just has it. You know, there's just something about them. Yeah. And that's just how I feel about Jenna Ortega. Ah, for fuck's sake, I'm damaging my Porsche. I'm gonna go fix it. Alright, uh, do you have any cells or anything you want to do? Like while we're chill streaming? I, hanging out? I will go to my arcade and check real yeah, quick. I think, I'm, I think I may have a, a nightclub hub thing to do. So I may do that. You're excited about the new Jurassic Park game? Yeah, I, I hope that turns out to be good. I'll definitely play it. Uh, Jurassic Park Survival, where you play a, a character that worked for Engine that got left behind and, and trying to escape the island. Yeah, I'll play that. See, that also has like an alien isolation vibe to it. And you are lucky. I, there was a 50-50 chance today that I was going to stream Jurassic World Evolution 2. But I said, "Fuck it! I'll just I'll just do a GTA chill stream." Because, like I mentioned, like there were suggestions for Rise of Ronin and Helldivers, but in both cases, I wasn't interested in you know purchasing those games at the moment. But I've been playing the hell out of Jurassic World Evolution too. I have like several. I'm not gonna lie, a Jurassic World stream would have been interesting. I might do it eventually, UG. And uh, by the way, hello, UG. What's the crack, fellas? What's happening? Oh, UG. Ugh, uh, not much. Just uh, sitting here on my Xbox because my loving wife decided to hijack my PS5. Oh, what's she playing? 
<laughs> Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh, nice, nice, very nice. Yeah, she actually did it while I was at work, and I came home, and she was paid at night. There's no point in arguing. I just went, you know what? Just have fun. Exactly. Just. You know. <laughs> See, I didn't realize she was also a gamer, but that's that's cool. Well, well, I wouldn't say like she's really a gamer. Like, there's certain games like she likes. It's literally because of Final Fantasy, the franchise itself, that me and her got to know each other. Oh, nice. Hmm. The uh, Jurassic Park survival has a '90s vibe to it. Yeah, it does. I, I think there was some questions like we, a week or so ago about the game's development, how it might be in trouble. But then I think the developers came out and said, "No, the game's fine. It's on course." So I, I will definitely uh, check out uh, Jurassic Park survival, especially if it gets good ratings. You know, if, it, if it's well received. If it ends up being trash, then I won't waste my time or money. But, I don't know, like, I am kind of tempted to at least do a video about my opinions regarding Jurassic World Evolution 2. Because I got it for free months ago when it was a free game on PlayStation Plus. It's set in my library. And then, like, a month ago, for some reason, I started playing it. And then I started, I started like, playing the hell out of it as I ran over some rats. Wait. Micah! Micah! No, no, I missed. Sorry, I was trying to shoot Ma Micah. <laughs> Damn it. Come back here, Micah. These are Micah's uh, descendants. Wait, where'd, where'd the other Micah go? Uh oh, one of them escaped. Damn it. Well, don't worry. We'll, we'll see Micah tomorrow. Sadly, I do not have any sales. Oh, that's fine. I'm... Um, Oh, there, there, I found him. I found Micah's descendant. Kill him. Got him. Got him. All right. Oh, wait. Wait, no. It's the... He's part of the family who had killed Arthur. Damn it. They're coming out of everywhere. God, there's so many of them. Why are the cops after me for? <laughs> I'm trying to deal with this Micah Bell problem. <laughs> Just say you work with pest control, you they let you off. Yeah, exactly. Go get a, go get the exterminator uh, man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna do this uh, hub cell for the nightclub. I think I've put in a few bucks into it. Um I need to register. There we go. Gives me something to do while we chat and play G E A. Mm-hmm. So what are you playing on Xbox? GTA. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. No, I don't. Uh, it's 13,000. I'll take it. Let me open this. Yeah. Yeah, but I, ho I hope that Beetlejuice Beetlejuice doesn't suck. We'll see. I haven't seen the trailer yet. I do need it, to check it out. It's, it's a nice little teaser trailer. I mean, that's, that's just the thing, right? You don't want to know too much. That's true, but yeah. I do feel like that mm -hmm. Tim Burton is trying to go back to his roots, especially from what he said in a quote I, I was not exactly reading for verbatim as just going by member berries. <laughs> mm. But I do like the fact that they're they're relying on practical effects and I guess in the, the spirit of the original movie, which is good. But whether or not it turns out to be a worthy sequel... I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yep. But I do really like the original Beetle. I love the, the TV show, the cartoon show. Oh, God, I remember that. Yeah, that was good. Hmm. Like in the, the movie, Beetlejuice is, a, is the villain, right? He's the main antagonist. <laughs> but in, yep. in the cartoon, he becomes the hero. <laughs> So it's kids a, cartoon shows. Yeah, I guess you could say it's character development, like a what if. What if Beetlejuice stopped being as creepy towards Lydia and they actually became friends? Because that's basically what happens. Like one second he's trying to marry her, the next second they're they're, they're friends. I guess he just accepted the friend zone. He's like, well, Poor guy. I, I guess the friend zone's better than nothing. Yep. 
I could look, but I can't touch. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Keaton was hilarious in Beetle. I, I hope that he actually was excited about coming back to Beetlejuice after all this time. You always hope that, right? You always hope that the actor really wants to be there and they're not just doing it for a paycheck. I mean, yeah, there mm -hmm. are definitely times when it's obvious they're doing it for a paycheck. But then I'm sure there's some projects they've worked on that they they probably think, you know what, I wouldn't mind you know, playing that character at least one more time. Or like in like Johnny Depp's case, you know, he loved being Jack Sparrow. Hmm. So it is nice to see that on occasion. But you don't always I mean I get it. Actors it's a job to them, you know. I mean some of them get passionate about this role or that role, but at the end of the day it is a job. And they they try, well maybe not all of them, but the real actors and actresses do try to give you the best performance they can give you in this role or that role. But then there's definitely more and more actors and actresses that you sit back and you wonder, why do they keep hiring them? Why? <laughs> they, they can't even act. I mean, the answer is pretty obvious. Is it? Wait. It's so that the fucking studio doesn't have to hire, like, you know, really good, talented, expensive actors <laughs> and save a lot of their fucking money. <coughs> yeah, but I'd rather hire good actors and good actresses if I was making a movie. Like, mm -hmm. I, uh, I guess I just have a different mindset. It's like, I, if I had an idea for a movie, or if I was a producer, right, or a director, I would want... I would obviously do auditions and find the best people for each role and hire them, you know? Yeah. You know, I wouldn't be like, oh, because see, so many movies now, and I think Critical Drinker made a video about this a while back, about how one of the big reasons why movies cost so much money is because they're, they've are they been wasting money on actors and actresses that most people don't even give a shit about anymore. Pretty much. You watched Top Gun Maverick, you didn't realize Rooster was Goose's son? Belfast! <laughs> Yuji, smack no. him in the back of the head, no, 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 please. No, 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 please. no, 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 <laughs> for, for once, I'm gonna let him off. Once. What? <laughs> Why? Why is that? What's with this plot twist? Oh, wait, oh, wait, sorry, I forgot. Jesus, sorry, where am I, man? Belfast, that... you're from the north, you don't know any better. How could you not know that Rooster was Goose's son? They've made that point several <laughs> times in a fucking movie. Jesus Christ. There's there's a fucking flashback of of Maverick and Goose be, uh... with, with younger Rooster sitting on the piano from the first must... movie. <laughs> he must be he must be uh, slow or something. Oh my god. <laughs> you know like you know how, like, Snake is Mr. Slowly in video games? Belfast? Well, I'm a little Bef disappointed. I guess, Belf I guess Belfast is Mr. Hard Slowly in, in movies. Come on, Belfast. Get with the program. No, it's okay, Destiny. Snake has a new thing now. He complains about updates. Oh, yeah, his Fortnite stream. Yeah, we were stream. talking about that last night. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> So here's the thing about Fortnite, okay? Fortnite does this thing called weekly updates, where usually mm. at least once a week, Fortnite gets an update. Now, yeah, I, yeah. I do understand. Look, GTA Online, we unfortunately don't get weekly updates, okay? We don't. We get no. an update maybe twice a year if we're lucky. So I guess I can understand Snake not being used to a live service game providing actual weekly updates. But shouldn't you view checked first to make sure it was updated before you started streaming snake <coughs> yeah i mean i i usually a... check these things like whenever there's a new update to gta whenever i on those rare occasions i get up early in the morning right like i said twice a year like i make sure the game is updated before i start my stream <laughs> mm -hmm. just because yeah. if you play another game while you're trying to up late said game, it's going to slow down the update process. Yeah. You could have waited an extra yeah. 
10, 15 minutes at the most for the update, and then start your stream, and then he would have had no issues. <laughs> well, yeah. But then again, guys, you do have to realize this is Snake we're talking about. Yeah, it is Snake. Yeah. <laughs> I must stream a game. I mean, it, I mean, I'm come not, on. Sorry, I'm go not going to lie. I was, I was kind of looking forward to watching Snake play Fortnite just for, you know, reasons. It wouldn't have lasted very long. Yeah. Yeah, got, I, yeah. The first couple of matches say... would have gone well because him and FTK would have gone up against probably mostly bots because of their low skill level. And mm -hmm. then they would have been bumped up against actual players. Then they would have started getting wrecked. And Snakers would have got upset. And mm -hmm. he would be blaming Epic. And then yep. he'd switch over to GTA. Yep. That's why I was going to put down like a comment like in the group chat yesterday. I was going to bring a stopwatch just to see how long it would take for Snake to go on GTA. It didn't take too long. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> yeah, we love Snake, but sometimes. Uh, yeah. He always makes my Friday. Yeah. Why are you sure people killing me in a Battle Royale game? Oh, I don't know why. Yeah. Maybe because that's the whole point. <laughs> hey, what's up, Windows? Uh, what's going on right now? Uh, not much. Just uh, Destiny Metal UGME talking about random nonsense. It's mainly it's just a chill much. stream. Like, we're not really doing anything because it's a really shitty event week. So I'm just trying to think of some stuff to do. And I'm just drawing a blank. So we're just talking about random topics. By the way, anyone watching is welcome to throw up a topic in the chat if you want. Like, nothing too spicy. Let's try and stay away from politics. Like, I myself am tired of politics. That's why I haven't made a political video on the other channel in a quick minute. I've just given up again. I'm like, man, eh, fuck it. It's like, uh, it's, like, it's like that scene where I walk up to almost every political party... It's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about politics. <laughs> right, I'm going to fly up to my bunker and see if I got something in there. I thought I had something a while back that I never uh, sold. Because Riley talked me into getting a bunker a while back. I've had a bunker on uh, the Xbox for ages, even though I haven't really touched it. Hmm. I, f I forgot why she wanted me to get I think it was on discount I don't remember potential reason why future vehicles exist in GTA Online on the discord well just I, I guess shorten uh, your explanation please and just repost it in the live chat so other people can read it but don't obviously please don't put a novel in the live chat just to I guess a Cliff Notes version, if you don't mind, and I'll, I'll gladly read that, and we can discuss that. <coughs> but I mean, future vehicles. What are you are you are you referring to, like the Deluxo or the Broomstick, for example? Is that what you mean? I mean, it's because it's a video game, and Rockstar thought it'd be cool at the time to make those vehicles and add them. Well, obviously the Deluxo because of Back to the Future. But the broomstick is because I guess somebody played Saints Row the Third too many times. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, let's see if there's anything at the freaking bunker. So we got Motor Wars. I don't know, Destiny. You want to go to Motor Wars and get our asses handed to us? No, me either. <laughs> I mean, I've never really done Motor Wars. Uh, it's their attempt at doing a battle royale. It's, uh, it's not the worst thing they've ever made when it comes to content for GTA Online, but it could have been better. Uh, solo session? Yeah, I'm in a friend session. Oh, I can do this, uh, Doom Loader thing. Okay, let me do that. Uh, how do I do it? Oh, I have to hit the D-pad. Do I? Maybe Warstock only provides biggest crime lords, bosses, San Andreas. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, so you're trying to you're trying to explain why 
the common everyday citizen doesn't have uh, broomsticks or deluxos. Like, what you mean? What I mean is the NPCs. Um, I guess it means because they just aren't like us. We're like above them in a, in a weird, twisted way. We're criminals. Criminals that have been very successful at what we're doing. And we've made ridiculous amounts of money. And meanwhile, the, the average citizen of Los Santos or Southern San Andreas, they live kind of oblivious, you know, to what's going on. They probably hear about crime happening and all sorts of violent stuff in their city, but they just kind of go up to their 9 to 5 and they're working at the Cluck and Bell and the Burger Shot and they're working downtown and, you know, they're just trying to make enough uh, money in order to get home and provide some food for the family and keep a roof over their head, I guess. Most of them are living like it's 2013. I mean, get with the times, people. You made a huge mistake getting the bunker in Polito Bay. Yeah, it's it's cheaper, but it's also further away from everything. Hey, hey, Merriweather, fuck off. Fuck you. I just killed him with a regular pistol. Well, not a regular, it's like the combat pistol, I think. The only thing I like about them is their Mesa. You guys are assholes. I'm not on You fuckers! Don't you knock it into the fucking ocean? You son of a bitches! <laughs> okay, okay. I hope I can... Can I get... Uh, I'll have to go this way. Mother of truckers. I didn't do anything to you today, Meriwether. What's the problem? <laughs> Assholes. These roid heads are fucking trying to chase me into the ocean. <laughs> Fuck you, I'll help you drown. <laughs> Hucking the coastline. Like, this come up from nowhere. I'm just driving my own business. Trying to deliver this product to ammunition. And these Meriwether fucks just rearing me and start shooting at me. And, and there they are again. Fuck y'all. Right? Fuck you and... Yeah, get in the ocean and get, get eaten by a shark or something. <laughs> Fuck off. Alright, I need, I need some health and ammo real quick. And they really want those weapon parts, don't they? I don't know. These guys are jerks. They're like they're like cockroaches. No matter what we do, they they uh, keep coming. Yeah. All right. So somehow I've recovered for now. I got to get back up on the main highway. <coughs> I guess it does make it a little bit more interesting. But again. All right. Let's. <laughs> That was, I thought for a moment I was take this thing was about to go flying to the ocean. I was gonna, I was gonna go over to their base and start wreaking havoc. <laughs> I still might do that. <laughs> you once juked a Merriweather and, and they fell into the, off a bridge. Well, they, a few of them went rolling into the ocean, which was quite hilarious. You know, most people would have tried to get out of their jeep if that happened. No, they're just like, oh, I guess I'll die now. Only if you do them. Well, I think that the entire point, Windows, is that it's a video game. Yeah. So yeah, I I, I don't think I, I worry too much about the NPCs. I will say one thing: Rockstar is one of the best companies when it comes to NPCs because. The way that the way they walk around, the way they have conversations, and all the dialogue that was voiced and written for these NPCs, there's there's still times today where I, I swear I'll walk up to an NPC and they'll say something, and I'll 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 actually believe it was the first time I ever heard it, you know, and maybe I've heard it hundreds of times before, you know, and I just never noticed it until now. So I do give Rockstar credit for that. Uh, their driving, on the other hand, leaves a lot to be desired, though. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how the NPCs in GTA 6 are. Yeah, that will be interesting. Yeah, the AI. Yeah, especially when it comes to driving. 
the uh, AI sucks in this game. So hopefully, like Destiny says, hopefully there's improvements to the NPCs in GTA 6. Yeah. I don't know, I just don't really pay too much mind or thought about the these NPCs because of the fact that like I would not want to live here if I was one of them. <laughs> like you, you hear all these explosions happening every day and helicopters and flying jets and rockets, missiles, bombs and all this crap happening every day in your city and in this state. I would get the fuck out of here if I could. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it, I mean, it's a war there zone. For, plus there's there for aesthetic or bullet sponges. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it's practically a war zone. Hey, what's up, Sinister? How's it going? It would be scary if... A scary thought if the NPCs actually were alive. Right, I'm going to try and do an assassination, because uh, why not? And I'm just doing random stuff for the sake of doing random stuff. Plus, I like talking to Franklin. I mean, if future vehicles don't exist in GTA 6, well, let's just say the future vehicles... Let's just say we don't ever get the broomstick in GTA 6 online, which would, would not bother me. Let's just say that they were just simply experimental. And they were all confiscated by the government or destroyed. The end. And the company fucking tank. But now they got a chance of a new relaunch to turn it all around. But here's where we come in. It's called. Uh, yeah, because when you're, when you're loading into the game, it uh, goes sometimes uh, shit doesn't spawn in right like vehicles and they blow up. It especially happens whenever you're playing in, like, uh, GTA Online with two players that, like, Destiny and me, like, or me and another player, you'll you'll hear explosions because of the the way the game is trying to load everything for both of us, and maybe one of us has slower internet or something, and it just causes some sort of issue. Okay, so I have to go assassinate a target. Why am I? I need my car. You know what else is a war zone? Xbox security. Yeah, I have a reason I don't play as much on Xbox. I do feel like it's less secure than than Sony. So yeah, I know. I think I know what you're referring to. What happened to Gilly Master? Which I think is completely bullshit. And I, I have, you know, retweeted, you know, his video on Twitter, as many others have. And I hope that somebody at Microsoft will realize that all those, like, fraudulent strikes that he's, he's gotten is... That, that alone should raise a red flag. Like, I think it's like 21 at this point. And something needs to be done about that. Like, I, I look back at the times I've been griefed playing GTA Online and Red Dead Online, and I think I've been griefed way more on Xbox than I ever was on PlayStation. Back when I actually went into public lobbies. So. Alright. So I gotta grab. Uh, looks like, I guess I gotta put a bomb on it. Alright, it should be up here somewhere. I mean, especially like in Red Dead Online, because you don't have the luxury of going into a friend lobby in Red Dead Online. And that's that's the part that really sucks. But it happened a lot more, from my experience, on Xbox than uh, PlayStation. But it it, did, it does happen on PlayStation. Not to mention the orb spamming, but. I find the orb spamming to be hilarious because it just shows how pathetic some people are. I mean, you're orb spamming me. I'm not the best at PvP, buddy. I mean, I've gotten better, but still kind of suck. <laughs> Alright. So. 
I'm guessing they're in... So... What the... Use scuffed rifle to blow up the engine of the target's car while they're inside it. Okay. So I guess I have to stay up there. Okay. Okay. The problem is I... Like, what, what gun did he give me? I have lots of guns. <laughs> I, I don't know which one I'm supposed to use. So is it down here or is it up here? Uh, this is PlayStation. This is uh, Wolfstein on my PS5. Scope rifle. Assassinate the target. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I don't know which weapon they gave me. <laughs> I hate this shit. Scoped rifle. I mean, I have a few rifles that have scopes on them. You know, when all else fails, sometimes it's important just to get the job done. Because you know why? It's not always about the money. Yep, it's about sending a message. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the bonus. Oh, well, fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> oh, no. Anyways. Like, I don't know. I didn't know which weapon it was. Because <laughs> I have, like, a shit ton of rifles. Like, like thank you, game. I mean, couldn't you just tell me to throw a plant a sticky bomb or something instead? Uh, it's it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I don't give a fuck. It usually gives you a scope rifle. Well, I know, but I, I was looking through all my rifles and I couldn't tell. But whatever. The point is the target got assassinated, you know? That's fine. I don't care. I was just doing it for the sake of doing it. Mm. Right, now I gotta get away from the piggies. Fucking cops in the middle. I wonder how they're gonna improve the one end system in GTA 6. And for one thing, I hope that they make it to where. The cops just don't automatically kill you if you have a one star with one end level. But they actually give you a chance to surrender. Or maybe maybe they'll make it like the Mafia games where they'll just write you a ticket. I'll have to find oh, you. <laughs> or bribe them. Yeah, exactly. You have an option to bribe them. And maybe it goes like 50-50, right? Maybe, maybe they're a dirty cop. Or, or maybe they're a good cop. And if they're a good cop, they, they just... They go, pull, they go, <laughs> ape shit on you. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll let you off this time. But then sometimes oh, they're like, how dare you insinuate that I'm, that I'm on the take? I'll fucking kill you for this. <laughs> all right, can I avoid the helicopter? There we go. Some smooth moves in my Porsche. Yay. I know it wasn't much, but it's honest work. Hey, what's up, Bounty Hunter? How you doing today? Yeah, for the life of me, I just looked at my rifles. I'm like, I don't know which one I was supposed to use. Fuck it. Uh, Icarus says, uh, open my agency safe in a warehouse crate spawn in your office. Start glitching like crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, cops on the auto shoot you 
Yeah, it's, yeah, I know in story mode they don't do that, but I'm talking about in online as well. Like for the next GTA, I hope that they're like maybe use tasers instead or use nightsticks and try to beat you. I don't know. D don't, don't you know go straight to shooting us because we gave you a one star wanted level. And I hope they, I hope they bring back the six star wanted level too. I think they will. Yeah. I mean, it is GTA 6 after all. It would make sense. I mean, make it to where it, it takes a quick minute to get up to, to the 6th level, right? But then when it does, mm -hmm. all hell breaks loose, and then the cops pull back, and then the military and the FIB come after you. Jesus. Because we had 6-star 1 its levels for the longest time. Probably get a you probably get an achievement for it. First time you've seen it. Okay, I'll check out the screenshot later, Icarus. Like, maybe they might put in, like, a trophy and achievement, like, with what they did in GTA 4, survive a certain amount of time with a six-star wanted level. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. What else can I do? Unless I can find a car to steal. Hey, what's up, Helix Ghost? Uh, the, the Gucci outfit? Uh, yeah, they started adding that, like, two years ago. So, yeah, they'll, every, uh, Festivus, uh, festive, uh, season, they, they'll bring back the Gucci outfit along with all the other festive surprise content. So you gotta wait till, like, like, in Dece late December before the Gucci comes back. The Gucci is on vacation right now in the South Pole. <laughs> yeah. But... Don't worry. He'll return in December. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, uh, going back to Gilly Master real quick, I really do hope that somebody at Microsoft, you know, comes and realizes that all these claims against him are bogus and they actually reverse all this malarkey. But I, I get why he's upset, though. I mean, I, I'd be upset, too, you know? I'd be just as upset as he is. All right, let me do my good deed. Um, let's see. What's up, Red? How's it going? Oh, it's fine, Red. No worries. You're welcome to, to chat as well. We're talking about all sorts of uh, interesting things today. Mm-hmm. There we go. Here's your uh, money back. See, I'm I'm totally a good person. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much all I really got to say about what's going on with Gilly. I don't think he deserves it, but then again, I don't, I don't think most people deserve to have that bullshit done to them. But at the end of the day, I mean, that's that's all Microsoft, and that's one reason. Circling back to the topic of why I, I don't really play on Microsoft as much on Xbox as PlayStation. Because it's just, I don't know why. I mean, it's just, there's something about, especially, I mean, like the friend system, okay? On PlayStation, you have to, you have to accept a friend request in order to be friends, right? Yeah. And that's the way it is on most things. But on Xbox, somebody can send you a friend request and it counts as a friend request. It counts, you know? It's like... It's so weird the way they do it. Yeah, I've always been meaning to, like, ask someone about that. Because I could go through my friends list on Xbox. And I see people on it. And I'm, like, thinking to myself, how the hell do I know you? Yeah. I just... I don't like that. I, I don't like some of the things they do over on Xbox. Yeah. So, like I said, I've been, I've been grieved more on Xbox than I than I've been griefed on PlayStation back when I played Red Dead Online more. It's not as bad in on GTA because most of the time we just be in a friend lobby anyways. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it, I don't really care as much about being griefed as I once did. 
if that's that's the best somebody has to do with their time, then okay, go touch grass. Say hello, guys. Hey, what's up, Red? Hey, Red. What's good? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I'm, do I'm doing good. I was working on some sounds, and that's why I was muted. Well, like, nice. Your message. Sound <laughs> boards. Yeah, uh, like like as usual, Snake Freezer. You you always <laughs> have to manage the audio because it's so loud that, that leaves you basically. Yeah, it does ears. get loud. But uh, so. yeah, yeah, Helix, you're right. I mean. It's been proven time and time again that Xbox Live enforcement is a joke. Multi-billion dollar corporation can't even have a proper system in place, you know? Yeah, well, it looks like everything is managed by AI. And that's all in Microsoft. Yeah, that's... Like, and they, that's sad. Um, they said, like a year ago, that there were no exploits. That's um, bullshit, obviously. <laughs> yeah, sure. I know. It's, it's so stupid. It's like, oh, there is no exploit. How dare you? You say that everything is in order, but later on you have again this this problem going on. And again, I'm not, I know I don't like the guy. I don't like his content, but I but I completely agree. You no, know? not everyone. No, he doesn't deserve to have been targeted by some asshole, like some nerd on the internet, because he got. Basically, completely destroyed one of his videos. Like that was with him. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't understand this. Like, it's so one-sided. Like, it's okay for us to be PvP'd, right? But when when those that are doing the tryharding and the griefers, they get their asses handed to them, then mm -hmm. they take it personally. But they're the ones that started it, you know? Yeah, I just, that's why. I don't do content anymore on that game. It's like, it's, yeah. it's why bother? Like, the community is just absolutely fucking well, disgusting. Well, like, to they, be they, fair, they they most go. communities are, do have their toxic uh, sides to them. You know, there are, like, almost every live service game, including GTA, sure. has toxic players. Sure, but no one goes goes to the link to ban you. Like, uh, at least in COD, well, yeah, you get you get called racist slurs, but at the end of the day, you start a new day. Yeah. But in this case, it's special, and that's why you stand on it, because it's not only they just go to the lens of being absolute clowns, but go to just basically ruin gameplay, go to ban account, go yeah. to use exploits, so, and they or just go and spoof your AI. So yes, this in this matter, yes, this this community is hot there in terms of toxicity. Um, and what you said, uh, like a, a few minutes ago, is completely correct. That's why I don't have anyone on Xbox when I'm doing my stuff on Forza. No one, because it's it's just basically Wild West, and mm. Microsoft is not giving enough insurance. Not giving me any insurance to say, hey, who is, if someone is gonna basically blow my account to pieces because I did some, something that he didn't like or she didn't like in this game. That's. See, uh, Windows, I got three gauntlets. Three? Damn, dude. Oh, well, man, it's your money. Um, let's see, uh, Icarus says that's why I play. Well, I, I don't think either one oh. is superior. There are things I like about PlayStation, there's things I like about Xbox, but. In this situation, I do feel like PlayStation does a, a better job. It's it's foolhardy to believe that there's never going to be issues or exploits to to your system, and Microsoft should be better prepared for this and shouldn't be relying so heavily on AI or automation. They're, like, whatever happened to having the human element there, you know? And AI can serve us as well as automation but this is just one of many prime examples why we, we can't just hand everything over to AI oh, oh, oh. Icarus, do you do you forget about the 2013 fiasco of PlayStation where they were a, a group of hackers decided to just stole millions of dollars in, in credit cards yeah. where you were any, able to play on PlayStation 3 for almost a week I think it was almost two three weeks because uh, some group of fucking clowns decided to just hack the whole servers and, and shut down online. Yeah, PlayStation is as flawed as Xbox, so I think I'm agreeing with GB. Like, it's, 
there is no fucking uh, good ground. Even Steam has its issues. Yeah. So it's not like there is no superior fields. And and trust me, bro. Like if you if you if you think, if you pretend that getting your fucking uh, personal information and your and your credit card is is superior, well, that's on you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing that's foolproof. I mean, and that's why it's important for these companies, especially these multi-billion-dollar companies like Microsoft, Sony, to be at the ready at all times for any sort of issue that might come up, and and actually have a talented team of people to handle it. It's just so, so lazy. And it's not difficult. Even the the shittiest social media on earth that no, it's not Twitter. It's Facebook. Right? It's, it's, yeah. At least they have like a two-step verification in terms of reporting. Yes, the AI does the first step, but yeah. usually a group of moderators take the second step to see if it's actually uh, if it's actually mo- uh, able to be banned or mon- or demonetized or whatever. Yeah. It's all like it's, it's something that is vital in terms of moderation. Having these two layers that always have to be synced in some way. Yeah. Uh, Belfast, hey, hey, when people you don't know send you invites. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why uh, X- Xbox annoys me. And also that friend issue that Eugene and I were talking about a moment ago. Like almost everywhere else, like Steam, on PlayStation, elsewhere, you have to accept a friend request in order for you and that person to be friends. It's not that way on Xbox. And that's just pissed me off for years. I just don't know why they do it that way. It's, it's so stupid. Uh, what's the gauntlet interceptor supposed to be? Just a highway patrol car. Yeah, because I, I have two other uh, police cars, uh, the the LE cruisers. I have one for Polito Bay, which I've parked up in the garage in Polito Bay. And then I have one for, for Grapeseed in uh, Grapeseed. So that's why I made this look like a highway patrol uh, police car. Because it, it looks like something you would see on, on the side of the road of the interstate. You know, because this thing has the... Well, in theory, not in the video game, but in theory, something like this should be able to, to catch up with almost anything on the interstate and pull their asses over because that's how interceptors are supposed to be in real life. But, yeah, it's just, it's unfortunate that that crap like that still happens. So. My hope is that maybe enough people will reach out to Xbox on Gilly's behalf and hopefully there'll be a positive resolution. But mm-hmm. it, it, it's but. shit like that that will turn an Xbox player into a PlayStation player. So it, yeah. it, it wouldn't surprise me after this, Gilly ultimately decides when GTA 6 comes out to get him a PS5 Pro instead. Because, like he said, yeah, you know, he has the ultimate li- what Xbox Live service, right, for for the next year. He's been a loyal customer to Xbox, and this is how you fucking repay him. Well, imagine how other Xbox players feel right now that are fans of Gillies. They're probably feeling the same way. Well, like I know it all. If you own an Xbox, it leaves you in this uh, situation. Of not trusting anyone, not only his fan base, it's all at all Xbox. Like you don't know why. Like you, you start on trusting people way more than you usually do on video, on video games. Yeah, and that uh, and that just doesn't work. Like if if you're playing like a live service game, like that crap shoot, like whatever, you start like tr- on trusting more and more people, and they will they will just say, you know, I'm not gonna just. Like you just start disliking everyone, no matter what, because it's like, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna report me for some way because I did something or I say something or I, or hell because I'm I'm from another place that he doesn't like. Um, people he just takes retaliation in this game into another fucking level. So it's, like, <coughs> yeah. it's, it's just weird. Yeah, but companies by now should know that this kind of crap happens on YouTube, on Twitch, other social media platforms, and on video game platforms and they should have precautions in place that that prevent this from actually ending up being a thing and punishing those responsible you know the ones that should be punished are the ones that are carrying out the fraudulent attack you know not not the not the victim 
Yeah, and even that, like I was saying, like even banning the guy is not gonna fix the problem. Like what yeah. what actually Microsoft has to do is basically find this tool that I'm not gonna describe because I'm not Dutch and I'm and, I, and I'm not an asshole. Uh, <laughs> but, so they just need to find this this tool and basically. Um, see on minecraft because it looks like it's going works on minecraft I, I heard about that like gilly mentioned that just, on twitter like there's people like going into people's accounts on minecraft and getting them banned and falsely making it to whether it seems like they're saying racist shit even though even if yeah, they're not like what the hell what is yeah, that about exactly it's just bombards the basically a report system has it's, it's just absolutely insane like as much as i saw or or as much I saw in other areas, I didn't expect some dude actually describing the fucking script. He's just irresponsible and stupid, but whatever, you know, that's it. Yeah. Legal action? I, I don't know what legal action can be taken, but I, this is a, this has the potential if it keeps, like, if, if more and more people keep having issues and the work continues to spread, it, it could end up being a PR nightmare for Xbox. You know, the only, like, the only legal liability, like, they, Microsoft can, has to do, basically can't do, is just track down who, whoever did the, the Exactly. The script. And go after them. That's it. Gilly has no stand to... Yeah, I mean... Or whatever. Yeah, this guy can... It, and even that... It's, it's, it's a legal nightmare, and that and it's not a legal like legal fights are not cheap. No, they're not. And I don't think the guy is is not exactly on a on a financial position to just hire a, like a fucked up lawyers and and sue a corporation no. over something that yes they are they they are in some way responsible, but at the same time there is no there is when you make an account there is no there is no no place that says yes you can sue us when when you get falsely banned like it's that's not yeah, how it works. that's not going to happen I mean, I mean it's not like gilly's making tons of money i mean he's probably making just enough to survive on a year you know like almost everybody else is so yeah i don't i don't see that happening either let me catch up with chat real quick uh, Icarus says, I think legal action is the only thing that could make... Well, I don't... Like Red said, I don't think legal action is going to happen, but I think the PR aspect is something they probably don't want. So maybe an, if enough people throw a shit fit about it on social media and it somehow goes viral, then maybe they'll finally do something about it, hopefully. Uh, Jay, what's up, Jay? I'm a fan of uh, Gillies and as well, playing on Xbox after what happened. Uh, that makes me want to jump ship. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm saying, Jay, is that a lot of loyal Xbox players are saying, hey, if this can happen to Gilly, who's been a loyal Xbox player and customer, this shit can happen to me. So why would I want to be over here and have this same crap happen to me and end up having my account banned, unable to play games on my console that I spent, what, 500 bucks for if you bought the Series X? And spending an annual subscription for okay, so Sinister wants to know if I can pick up a prostitute. Okay. <laughs> well, there, there's your answer, important. Sinister. Okay, I, um, hold on, let me lower my uh, webcam real quick. There. Are you happy now, Sinister? You cannot pick up a, a prostitute in the Gauntlet Interceptor. <laughs> uh. That's what happens when people yeah, ask questions. <laughs> like, going, going back to the topic, it's like, and yeah, I'm saying shadows well, and it's like there is even with a mod, with a class action, it's not, is there is no way because again, no. you're a user, and you when you make the fucking account, you're just basically sign, agreeing with the with the terms of service, and there is no, and basically, if you get this type of situation is, is like, well, you can do anything in your end. You can sue us because it's... Yeah, I mean, yes, Microsoft is one of the largest companies in the world. And they're, they're large and successful not because of Xbox. So, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd want to go up against Microsoft legally. <laughs> yeah, you exactly. might not win that like, one. Even, even if you are in the right, 
Like, you don't have the deep pockets that Microsoft has. So that's just a sad reality. Like, the only way I can see be this being a, a spoken louder than basically GTA, the GTA atmosphere, is basically that, G, that this guy, this YouTuber, contacts Tom Warren or someone that has actual contacts in yeah. media and makes it actually, and makes it an article about it. And such, so that's when actually yeah. the problems for Microsoft starts going on and say, okay, yeah, this is, well, people is actually getting, is getting quite concerned about this situation. And well, it's better to just investigate. That's the best way. Yeah. To and I feel like Gilly's probably exploring those options. He's probably trying to get this story to as many people as possible with his channel and probably reaching out to, you know, people in the business that, are well known and hopefully some of them will will see the issue and realize that this is BS and they'll they'll jump on board and maybe that'll help I, I guess we'll just have to wait and see I see Yuji will be right back he's uh, helping Gina in Final Fantasy 7 okay sounds good Yuji have fun see uh, let me let me catch up a chat real quick uh, Problem is, people don't really care until it happens. Exactly, and see that—that's—that's that's a terrible mindset to have because this shit can happen to any of us. Okay, if it can happen to Gilly Master, it can happen to anyone else. Even if you don't have a YouTube channel, let's just say you you beat somebody in a in a PvP match in GT Online, and they just happen to be the the most vindictive, foulest, scummiest piece of trash, right? Most people will just you know trash talk you and move on, right? They'll just be like, oh, you, you use cheats or something. Or you're just, you know, they would just say something and then move on with their life. Right? But there are select few not like that. If it can happen to him, it can happen to anybody. So, yeah. But it, it can happen to any of us. And that's why I think people should care about this. Because it, it shouldn't have happened to begin with. See, mass incident with everyone coming together. Well, I mean, that, that's the hope. I mean, whether or not it actually leads to a positive outcome remains to be seen. At least I hope that that's the case for Gilly. And if this exploit is affecting other people, most likely is, then it definitely is a problem that Microsoft needs to address and resolve. Belfast says, hate having my bank details on Xbox. Yeah, that... Well... I mean, they that, that should be hidden already. I mean, you might want to look into that, that Belfast. Let's see, Ikra says you can pick up an a bull. Oh, well, well, maybe some girls like being in a bulldozer. I don't know. Nice Let's see, Jay says people are petty, though, always watch you. Well, yeah, I mean, there are definitely petty people, you know, and I, I don't know why. I mean, if, if you don't like a certain content creator, then don't watch them. Don't watch them. Yeah, that's funny, too. With, yeah. with, with that guy, I just... You see, I just I I just noticed it because of, of Twitter. That's it. Yeah. I didn't, I I just thought like, oh, I'm getting fucking reported up to my ass. I was like, okay, what is going on? And he was like, when he won us <laughs> yesterday was like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I just got noticed by other people. But I, I, personally, if you have like a vendetta against someone, like as a content creator, the best way is just you know just continue with your life and just ignore it. That's the end of the fucking story. Dude, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I just respond to something in chat? Uh, okay, you. Max Hammer. The thing is, it's like people has done uh, boycotts and legal actions to the apps. Apple actually had one with Epic. Um, fucking, there has been many. Microsoft, fucking Apple, Sony has been having an, on legal action as well. And nothing has been changed. Mass boycotts. You saw what happened with Rockstar. People just started doing that shit and read their read their online. Nothing happened. Yeah. Like the only thing that could actually change is basically financial. And you just start speaking with your damn wallet. Yeah. Not like I hate Sony, and you just go and buy Spider-Man Two at the next day. No. If you if you actually actually or the disagree of the politics on how the, the certain companies handling things just don't buy their shit easy as that yeah he said i i know they, they if they are in the nasdaq 100 and you say oh that is just 60 dollars it doesn't it doesn't make a, a much of a damage 
Well, just like if, oh. if more people actually just join up. I just want another vehicle. Oh, nice. What do you want? I won, I won the Night Shark. Last week I won, won the, uh, the Osiris. <laughs> you should play the lottery. But no, it's, look, most of the time I just get freaking. Uh, I'll put in Mark Malgoro. There's room over there. Like most, most of the time I only get like RP. But I walked in here and I saw that it was black and gold, and I'm like, I might have a chance because I do like those colors. So like that's like two weeks in a row I've, I've won the damn car. I I thought I'd just win some RP, but anyways, uh, sorry. <laughs> well, congratulations for your win. Thanks. <laughs> Even if it's a big delayed NFT, congratulations. I mean, it's a night shark. It's it's a pretty decent vehicle to win off the uh, will. Yeah, that's true. Could be I don't know, like some panto or shit. And it was like, I, I wouldn't say congratulations, but more of a, I'm sorry. No, and I, I oh, did keep yeah. the look. I kept the Osiris pink just for Snake. There you go. There you go. Because if, if we ever end up playing with Snake. I'm gonna drive him around in the Osiris. That, that's what we talked about last weekend. That's amazing. <laughs> we can just complain about updates. Now, yeah, but he's not, he's not updating at the speed of light. True, but I'll say this about what you were just saying. I agree. Like the best way, at the end of the day, if if a company's not gonna do anything, even if you try your best, you know, you try to put out videos, you try to you know spread the word virally on social media. And yet they don't do something. The only option you really have is to take your business elsewhere. And, and that's what I was talking about a moment ago. And that's what, what Jay was saying too in chat is that this could end up resulting in a lot of Xbox fans, including Gilly, saying, fuck you. I'm just going to go over to Sony and get a PS5 Pro. So that, that, that's like the only option here. If Microsoft isn't going to protect their own customers... And if this whole guilty before proven innocent bullshit continues, then yeah, more people are gonna jump ship. Yeah, that's true. And, and even in these scenarios, that there is actual proof of, of a tool or a script working on, and that exists, and that is using a game basically as a proxy to just take down accounts. And, and funnily enough, that the game is a Microsoft product. So, so yeah. that's, that's pretty much the main focus. Is like, yeah, I mean, it's a serious. That's a serious need... issue, not just regarding Gilly, but a lot of other players as well on Xbox. Yeah, like that. That is that is globally in the X Xbox atmosphere. It's like, it's like, oh well, it's just, it's this content creator. He's not gonna happen to me. Well, it actually, kind of happens. To yeah, you. fun fact. And if you just yeah. touch. Even if you t if you don't t touch the Xbox for at least once a week, you could be someone somewhere that is sick of it, of his head. I just don't don't like you or just wants to basically just he just he's just sick of the head and just decides to ban you over for no reason. So, yeah, I think the even be, this problem is way beyond the, this content creator is. Yeah. It's an actual flaw on the service that has to be addressed, like, right now. Yeah. I mean, my hope is Microsoft actually does something about it, but at the moment, I'm not exactly optimistic about it. Uh, Dark Matter Wolf! What's up, Dark Matter Wolf? How's it going? I just won another vehicle. Two weeks in a I row. Don't think it, I don't think anyone is optimistic about Xbox right now. No. I mean, it doesn't even seem like they care because they're they're moving over their games to to PlayStation. It's like <laughs> yeah, but things are not good in terms of Microsoft. Yeah, no. As much as I celebrate the fact that they that these exclusive shit kind of is slowly dying, and I know people there is y y Nintendo exists. Well, it's Nintendo, whatever. But the but this and I and I'm still up there that exclusivity is bullshit. But like the things globally for Xbox are not looking bright. I don't know why they are just trusting too much about Game Pass. That Game Pass is basically the step forward for their uh, for their business in the future. I yeah. guess. 
and even Game Pass is like shoot or is cool, but at the same time, there is a lot of people that likes to, you know, own the game. Sure. Uh, it's not like you go to Netflix and you see some movie, but you just want to see, you just want to see it. That's it. You don't, you don't have any desire to own it, a physical copy, unless you want that. But in this case, it's like, you know, there's people that games are treated differently. So someone likes a game a lot, he wants to own it. So yeah. It, that's the case with with these games. And I and I this the renting service as as good as it is because thanks to Game Pass I play Forza Motorsport because well it's a shit game. But, Which is unfortunate. And, but, mm. Eh that's a that's a kind of worms for another day. But it, it's that overall it's like like game design everything is like on Xbox is super neat. It's, yeah. quite, it's quite terrifying if you think about it. Alright, let me catch up with shit. And by the way, welcome back, EJ. Thank you. See, uh, Belfast says, uh, even people sending you nasty messages. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't even read the messages. Sometimes I'll glance over them. And some of them will be from like months ago or a year ago. And I'm like, okay. Like, I tell people all the time, like, just. Contact me here in live chat or in Discord. Like I'm, I'm not going to read those messages because I don't like the way Xbox does it. And so there's, there's definitely been some interesting comments that have been left for me. But I just like, whatever. I move on from my fucking day. Pretty much. Exactly. Like, you don't know why, like, back then when I, get, I, I played for the Horizon 4, I had someone mad at me because I didn't solve... Uh, to him personally, uh, like a Dodge Challenger or something. Yeah. And he got mad at me, and I, I just decided to just, you know, move with my life. Like, whatever, dude. Like, it's yeah. a fucking game at the end of the day. It's not like it's not like your, your game, your, basically your life is going to change because you didn't buy some stupid car in a game. Yeah. I agree. The best mechanic in LS do right. for you. Get some basic upgrades on this thing. I'll do more to it later. I'm just doing the basics. Like I don't know is with, like I don't like to generalize, but I don't, I don't know what is going on with these people on GTA Online, dude. <laughs> like it's like if you do something, like especially goes to the the the, the PvP aspect of the game. It's like it's like you are committing a fucking crime to them, and everything just goes to this spectrum of okay, you kill me on a fucking game. I'm gonna basically ruin your ruin your account or or basically make your your private information public or all that yeah. nonsense. It's like it's just a fucking game. Like yes, you died and, and you just got killed, but it's not like the end of the fucking world. So I, I just never understood those people. And I know it's just a tiny portion, but sadly that tiny portion makes a lot of fucking noise. Yeah, and they, they make sadly everyone else is look what bad. what makes the fame. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. What do you have to say about it, Yuji? Yeah, like, I was gonna, like, talk about you know, the whole Xbox thing before uh, my wife called me. Like, when it, when it comes to, like, Xbox, like, I'm just gonna go with what Red said earlier. Like, you can't trust anybody on it. And especially, like, for example, like, if you were streaming an online game on the xbox it doesn't have to be gta it could be something else and a fan of yours or you know like a viewer like wants to play with you and you kind of have to tell them no and you would explain why like they could be like a really nice person but at the end of the day it's xbox and with everything that's going on right now you just you can't trust anyone no yeah right now like the best way I know, and I said it to you guys, and it's like, mm. the best way is just to hide your fucking gamer tag at this point. Until this is not addressed correctly, the best way is just to, you know, or A, not stream in that platform at all, or yeah. B, just hide your shit, because you don't know who is watching or, or who or whatever happened a minute ago with someone that had some sort of 
vendetta against you wants to do. So the best way is just to try to to keep uh, keep yourself safe as much as possible. Yeah, I agree. that goes beyond to everything. Like, well, yeah, is try to that's just... life, <laughs> especially yeah. in the days of the internet. So yeah, Chris mm -hmm. says Microsoft's even losing some of their exclusives. Well, I I think that they're actually going to profit in the long term off of Sea of Thieves and Hi-Fi Rush and other games going to other platforms because they've they've made good money off of Sea of Thieves so far on you know PC and Xbox. They're going to make even more money on PlayStation. So in the end, it is a yep. win for them to do that. And I wanted to give Destiny a chance to talk because he hasn't had the opportunity. Uh, what's your opinions about some of this stuff, Destiny? Well, it's all the more reason not to fucking go on the Xbox. Yeah, I hate to say <laughs> because that. Because I've always, I mean, I've always, like, I'm not really, like, a fucking console fanboy. Like, I really don't care what platform you play on, because I'm not a fucking asshole that gatekeeps shit, but yeah. I have always preferred the uh, PlayStation, like, even ever since I was a kid, I preferred PlayStation and, you know, Nintendo consoles. And, like, there's also no reason for me to get the Xbox, really, because the fucking game... Their so-called exclusives, at least for now, are on PC, so... Why would I have another reason... No. Like, why would I have a reason to get another platform right now? When I have true. three platforms that already have all the games on them. Yeah. Like, just... And I do think that what happened to Gilly Master is bullshit, and uh, Microsoft should absolutely fucking do something about that. Because, uh, yeah, pretty much what Red said, like, you know, it's not gonna look good for them. <laughs> nah. And basically, their company will... It pretty much will face, like, bad fucking PR and shit. So they better get on that fast, really. Yeah, that... That depends on whether or not they actually care. But I guess we'll find out. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it. it's so weird because for years now, I've been... You know, crapping on the console war, you know, just saying, look, I, I just care about video games. This whole, like, Microsoft versus PlayStation versus Nintendo was silly. Because, you know, I just like video games. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've had Xboxes, I've had PlayStations, I've had Nintendos, I don't care. But I, I do agree with everybody's saying. Like, if, you know, if this issue is happening to a lot of people and Microsoft is not willing to do anything about it, and even worse, they're, they're punishing the victim then why do I want to be on there anymore? Why would anybody? Yeah. I mean, PlayStation has its flaws, but... it. I mean, this is the reason why I don't play uh, PC for GTA Online or Red Dead Online anymore, because it's literally the Wild West over there, especially with the cheap-ass peer-to-peer crap. So that's why I don't stream yep. PC for GTA or Red Dead. And yep. why would I want to... Do the same thing on, on Microsoft if it's getting worse over there, too. So it's just, you get tired of it after a while. You're like, nah, I'd, I'd rather yeah. not. Thank you. And this also goes to show you that even if you are, like, you know, the most loyal, you know, fan or most loyal customer to a corporation... That's never going to matter, like, they don't give a f single fuck about you. Like, they, they only care about your fucking money, and how much you spend on the console, or the game. Yeah. Or even Game Pass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's the way most of these companies are. We're so, we find ourselves so enthralled by the whole, like, hey, we're, we're on this team and that team. But these companies, at the end of the day, they only care about one thing, our money. They don't care about us. That's just a reality. So, so why do so many of us white knight for them? Exactly. Like that, that's the thing that I. What, that's why I'm saying like, there is no superior uh, service out there. Every everything has its flaws. In this right now, yes, there is like 
anything has security, like security tools. We saw it on 2013 with PlayStation, uh, Steam. Well, Steam is the most the the safest out there, but that doesn't mean PC is safe. Like you said it, you said it as better as can be. Like Rockstar games on PC are playing is pretty much playing on a minefield, and and Xbox right now with this is like. I don't know, dude. He's he's absolute like mm. I, I I don't feel safe to say, to say it like just to say it for sure. And, and I don't know what is the 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 future of Xbox if they see themselves as the Netflix of video games because yeah. that's how I see how they're fa going forward, especially with these. Uh, opening like the the doors for their exclusives, and as and as Destiny said, you, the the word exclusive on Xbox is highly highly that, it makes a lot of heavy lifting. <laughs> you can play it on on a fucking PC or a handheld device, whatever. Yeah, I I'm just not a fan of exclusives. I mean, early access is one thing. Okay, that's fine. You want to have something on your platform first, but I, I like games to be able to be playable everywhere else whenever that's the hardware allows it. Like case in point, I'm excited for PC players that get to play Ghost of Tsushima because that game is phenomenal. Hmm. It's an amazing game. It should have been Game of the Year 2020, and I don't get why some people are upset about it. I don't understand how people could be shitting on that opportunity for even more fans to come to the Ghost of Tsushima franchise. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, I'm happy for PC players. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for them. And that, yeah. that would be the case for anything. Like, if Nintendo one day said, you know what, we want to start porting over our games uh, to Sony and to, and to Microsoft, awesome! Cool! I, uh. That would be great. I, I don't care. I mean, I'm not loyal to the fucking hardware, okay? I'm not loyal to a fucking switch, okay? And it's just a, it's just metal and plastic, okay? It, exactly. It's the games that really fucking matter. I'd be just yeah, as content. Like, Sorry, go ahead. Like it's okay to prefer a platform, you know. That's one thing, but then the moment you started saying like. Oh, this platform is great because it has this game that nobody else can play unless they are forced to buy the platform that I'm on. Yeah. Like, it, it literally does not make any fucking sense. Yeah. And that is a really stupid mindset to have. Yeah. Yeah, like, what he said is right. Like, it's... What I think is like it's up to your preference. Like, if, if you like Xbox, good. If you like my PlayStation, good. It's up to you. It's giving you the power to choose, and yeah. that's all. I, and I completely support that. Yeah. And when people come out to say, "Oh, it's exclusives needs to be very, very important in the like on the on on the list of the of the companies," it's like no. Like it's it, like like Destiny said, it's just gatekeeping, just to buy an inferior product that, in this case, wink wink Nintendo is offering. So, it's <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah. Let me catch up with chat real quick. Uh, hello, Newman, and uh, hi, Kari. How's it going? Let's see. Sorry about this, Hi, Kari. I meant to get to you a moment ago. Not really fond of Gilly. I mean, yeah. I mean, you and and Red are not fans of Gilly, and that's fine. Look, I like Gilly. You know, I'm very friendly with Gilly Master, but, you know, each of us have a right to that opinion. And, you know, he and I have had good rapport in the past, along with him and Riley. So I, I have nothing but mostly positive things to say about Gilly. But whether you like him or not, I feel like most people feel like what was done to him was, was bullshit. So I think that's one thing we can all agree with. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't know why some people are like that. It's just crazy. But this is the world we live in. Uh, Belfast says Microsoft has dedicated number. They took down website. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what's up with Microsoft these days. Uh, Jay says I want. I want see if these fan. I want people to experience see if these on PlayStation. Yeah, and Jay's an Xbox player. And see, that's the right attitude to have. To be excited for other gamers out there to be able to experience the game that you've been able to enjoy for for years now. That's the right attitude for a gamer to have. Uh, Yuji, were you going to say something? 
Um, like I was just going to say, like going back to this whole uh, Xbox thing with playing online or whatever. And Red knows this. Like my brother, he enjoys playing Forza Five sometimes because like he's into racing games and stuff like that. But anytime, like if I know that he's gonna like play the game, I just literally just turn the internet off on my Xbox because God only knows like who we would run into or you know what messages could be said like stuff like that like i mean i know if he played with red i know for a fact red would be 100 percent cool with him but other people like just couldn't trust him yeah rightfully so like the situ yeah. like the situation just to complement that when I mean, in xbox is so bad in terms of, of communication that when you play force horizon 5 since you talk about that UG, there is like mm -hmm. these events called the trials that you just play with other like play like players versus the AI, like like cooperative mode, but mm -hmm. basically the mics are off. That the only way to communicate is using like it like the pre like the preset emotes that all that all of them are just quirky and happy and, and positive. Even unless you use them in a sarcastic way. Mm. But <laughs> overall is it, like in some way they know that they that the toxicity is so bad that they just prefer to just default. You don't have mic, anything. You, you have mm. to go communicate, just use your fucking MP votes and that's it. And all of them are just not, there is not even no to say. It's just, you, all, of, all of them are super positive. Yeah. Which is quite funny. Because it's like, you know, just trying to paint this situation of that everything is nice and quirky and exciting and positive when it's mm. not. Yeah. Yeah, it's just unfortunate. I mean, the majority of people that play video games, even in online games, are pretty cool. I mean, maybe some get a little too competitive, some get a little too salty playing PvP games. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think most people know it's just a game. And if they get killed in a video game, it's not the end of the world. But there's a very small percentage out there that are just, for whatever rhyme or reason, extremely toxic and vindictive. And, and it's... It's one of those situations, I just can't understand it. Like, we can all say, like, oh, it's just a video game. If we get killed, ah, well, you know, no sweat off my back. Yeah. But other people, they just, they take it so seriously and they, like, they'd send you death threats, they'd expose your IP, blah, blah, blah. And you're sitting there just thinking to yourself, why? What do you get out of it? Yeah. I mean, it's especially with what's going on in the world. There's a lot of really bad stuff happening. I'm not, I don't have to site specifics here but there's mm -hmm. far more pressing matters going on in the world today yeah. to be mad about than a fucking video game like people play video games to escape from real issues like that yeah yeah it's supposed to be a hobby it's supposed to be fun you know and yeah sometimes yeah. we get salty i get salty a little bit here and there but at the end of the day i walk away you know i go step outside and breathe some fresh air or i go do something else let me catch yeah. up with shit just a moment if you like playstation good if you like xbox good luck ha huh? so funny at this uh hi kari says i miss the times when pvp games were uh about entertainment now it's about toxicity yet gilly doesn't deserve it yeah i agree like i mean there are games out there where most people like for example fortnite i mean fortnite does make it very hard for you to be able to communicate with each other but most people that play Fortnite, they go in doing their best to get a victory royale and get some kills. But if they get killed, guess what? They just go back to the lobby and start over. No big deal. And I would say this. PvP is way better in Fortnite than a lot of other PvP games, surprisingly. Including GTA Online. Mm. So that's, that's the part that I find interesting. Is that if you want a real PvP experience, you have to go play a kid's game. <laughs> the, the, the thing is, is like they have evolving so much that the in some point that like they have been involving that that a specific a specific thing to a point that is actually really good. I haven't played the new the new update that block that block to the good old Discord that we got some new sounds. And we got some good old uh, update not playing. I hate that kind of stuff! <laughs> Why not update not playing? <laughs> so we have that, and also we have <laughs> yeah. insulting pro an insulting program as well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do something! 
So join the Discord. We have some new sounds. <laughs> for <laughs> <Snake. laughs> <Like nitro. laughs> oh. oh, fuck. The new patch introduced. <laughs> So Dark Matter Wolf says, I've been on Xbox, but now I, I, I'm going to play uh, see if these on PlayStation. CGB, I know my experience. Yeah, I mean, Dark Matter Wolf has had some bad experience with people on Xbox, and he used to play exclusively on Xbox. Now, to be fair, the majority of people on Xbox are cool, just like the majority of people on PlayStation, PC, Nintendo. It's the system that's the problem, and the system allows for there to be more griefing, more stalking, and these terrible exploits that are happening to several players, including Gilly Master. So it's the structure, and it's the way that Microsoft has not been properly addressing and handling it and resolving it that's made things worse. Especially if you're going to rely entirely on AI instead of actual human beings to fix these problems. It's just lazy. It's cheap. It's lazy, and it's only going to make a bad situation even worse for even more players on Microsoft. It, you know what, if that means more people next time say, fuck you, Xbox, I'm out, then that that's on Microsoft. So Icarus says it's a good thing that Fortnite doesn't have proximity chat. Yeah, I, I can imagine why they don't have proximity chat. <laughs> Not really shocking yeah. there. A lot more studios, a lot more companies are doing that. Like Rockstar's even like, like made it to where you have to like enable voice chat now. Like it's not automatic. You, it's like it's disabled now. So you have to actually go into the settings and enable it if you want to experience voice chat. And I, I would advise against it. Like Riley, that was yeah. one of her favorite things to do. Is she go into a freaking lobby and just listen to all the nonsense and voice chat and GTA? And I was just like, why? It, it's a bunch of squeakers, racists, and and people playing their music too loud. Oh God, I hate them. It's like, no, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to hear any of that crap. Oh, then. Yeah, I, I, I was here about that. Like, that happens usually on GTA Online as well. There is, some, there is some good old dudes out there that they believe they are DJs and they start blasting music that yeah. they don't like. And it's like, no, stop. Yeah, that, that shit annoys me. Your noise. Like, I, I don't want to hear your music, okay? Even if you were yeah. playing music I liked, I don't care. Okay, you're you're being inconsiderate and rude to everybody else in the voice chat. Of course, that's why I don't go into voice chat. If I want to chat with people, I go into a party chat with my friends, you know? Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Um, in case anybody didn't know, at least on the PlayStation, um... You know you can download uh, Spotify, and then the PS5 has this feature where there's like a music button in your menu. Huh. You just go to that, you select your song or your playlist, and then you basically just play it in your headphones. There you go. Well, that works too. <laughs> That's what I do all the time. Yeah, I know I know. Kane does the same thing and a few others. So see, Hikari says... Uh, we can't say people who kill others in games are bad or evil, including grief. I mean, it's a look, it's PvP, okay? When people kill each other in PvP or, or wreak havoc in an online game like this, it doesn't mean they're a bad person, okay? Because it's the, it's the world you live in. It's just, it's not meant to be taken seriously. I know there's some out there that want to blame everything on violent video games, but studies have proven that that's, that that's bullshit. You know, it's just. The way I see it is, is it's escapism, it's fun, and there are definitely times when I when I see this kind of game, like GTA, as a, as a mental punching bag. But yeah, uh, Sea of Thieves is going to be fun whenever it comes to PlayStation. And this is going to be an expensive Uber. Like, having Destiny drive me all around the map. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not only that, I've uh, traveled across multiple towns, so yay. But don't, but don't worry. Just for you, I ask only for a thousand. A thousand. Yeah. <laughs> what a ripoff. Because normally that'd be like, I don't know, let's say five thousand. No. Oh well, how generous but, of you. 
But but you get the front discount of a thousand. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> wow, well, what an honor. See, Newman says yeah. the rift in Elder Scrolls Online. There's a lot of racist people in Elder Scrolls Online. Seriously, that's fucked up. Isn't that a game about like you being different races and like I don't know. Some people are just I I, I just don't get it in in the year 2024 why that why racism still exists. We're all human beings for crying out loud. I just I don't get it. Oh. <laughs> But anyways, that, yeah. that's obviously a subject for a different uh, channel. <laughs> now I'm going to grab a car. So uh, anyways, hey. uh, any other topics you yeah. guys want to discuss? Hey, you didn't pay your $1,000 uh, bill. I'll, I'll write you sir. a check. Don't worry. <laughs> it, it's in the mail. Uh, Don't worry, oh, it won't I'm bounce. Sure. Yeah, I, prom <laughs> I promise it won't bounce this time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this time? <laughs> <laughs> what was the first time? Nothing. <laughs> Not <even. coughs> moving on, moving on. Uh, no, so actually, actually, it's a funny so story. That's why that, uh, okay, so funny. That's why I couldn't cash that check. Yeah, yeah, that one. But but this one will totally, <laughs> totally be cash. But it is a fun story. When I first got a checking account, and my my papa would give me an allowance, like he would pay me like, I think it was like once a month, I'd get like seventy five dollars. And this was back when I was a teenager, so he would mail it to me like once a month. And I thought at the time I thought, wow, seventy-five dollars is a lot of money. Oh boy, you know. And there were times whenever I would be anticipating the check arriving, and I'd find myself going and buying like snacks at the gas station for my friends when we'd be doing like gaming nights on the weekends. And even though I I knew the money wasn't there, I'd be like I'd be anticipating the check would arrive in time. And I got in trouble a few times as a kid for overdrafting. <laughs> So I learned I learned a, a financial lesson when I was younger, like yeah, like don't do that if you don't have the money in your account, uh, don't don't write a check that your ass can't cash. Yeah, because <laughs> I I did have to pay the bank a few bucks. It wasn't a lot of money, but it was like twenty five dollar fines here and there. And I think at one time, like one gas station threatened us in a collection company after me. Jesus. Because it wasn't wow. even that much either. It was just, but it, it obviously it was the principle of the matter, right? It's just I, I I wrote a check back in the day for some snacks, and I didn't have enough money in my bank account. So yeah, I learned a long time ago that no, don't do that. <laughs> Saving your money can be a hell of a thing. Yeah, and and understand that there are things that. You might want to spend money on, but if you don't have money to spend it, then don't, because, well, you don't have the money. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That's what, and that's why so many people are in debt nowadays. Yeah. Well, true, because, I mean, I mean, credit cards have been around for a while, but I was pretty oblivious to the idea of credit cards back then. But now it's obviously, like, almost everybody has to have a credit card. I mean, even I have a credit card. And, you know, the reason why I have a credit card is because of the credit score. You know, we sadly need a credit score to do a lot of things in this modern day and age. So you're practically encouraged yeah. now to have some degree of debt to pay off. But I keep it yeah. a very bare minimum, you know, and I always pay it every month. So Yeah, not only that, you should really, I mean, not just for, you know, a good credit score, but... Really, the only other reason to have a credit card is for, um, you know, somewhere to, you know, send the fucking bills for, you know, you know, utility bills and all that. Yeah, some people do that, you know. That, that is definitely something people like to do with their credit cards, is they'll just pay their utilities and then they'll obviously have it set up through auto pay to pay or just go in and manually say, okay, well, this much, okay, I'll... I'll go ahead and put this much towards my credit card and pay it off real quick just so they can get their credit score up without being in a massive amount of debt. But it is really weird yeah. how our financial system basically encourages you to go into debt. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense to me. Well, you know, It's not like I was rewarded I for going into debt when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, where's where's oh. my credit score? <laughs> how how else do you think you know? Wait, how else do you think our uh, government will get their money? Well, our government's almost every government's even, in debt. That's the reality. Yeah. Even though you know, from a legal perspective, they're the ones who could actually fucking print the dollars in the first place. But we won't talk about that. Yeah, we don't need to go that far. See, no debt equals peace of mind. Well, I agree. I mean, ideally, you don't want to have any debt, but I'm just stating how ridiculous the the economy system, the economic system we have is when it comes to credit cards. Because because you could have no debt, right? And you could have money in your bank account because you're actually physically responsible. Well, without a credit card, you have no credit score. Without no credit score, there, there are so many things you don't get access to. Because people will ask you, okay, well, what's your credit score? Okay, what if you're looking for a job? Well, a lot of places want to know your credit score. What if you're trying to rent a, a vehicle, right? You're going on a trip, you need to rent a car. They'll ask you, what's your credit score? And all too often, if you don't have a credit score, then that, that causes some issues for you. Hey, what's up, Lewis? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Yeah. And then, on top of that... The only way to get credit score in the first place is to spend money on the credit card yeah. that will still give you a lot of debt. Well, I mean, not if you manage it properly. So if you manage it, then you, you can... There's, there's a right way and a wrong way to work the system when it comes to credit cards. But anyways, I'm not an expert, so let's, that's yeah. enough talk about this I'm, sort of thing. Yeah, I'm also not an expert. Like, I'm just going by from my own personal experience. <laughs> yeah. But is there any uh, games coming out, guys, that any of you are excited for? Mm. Nothing comes to mind. I, yeah. Yeah. I can't really think of anything, to be honest. Yeah, this is not... Really, I mean... I want to give Ronan a chance, but I'm just so on the fence about it. I was watching the professional play it last night. I've seen some people's reviews, and they're not exactly positive. They say some good things, but then they also say some other things that kind of, like, make me not feel like shelling out $70. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I just don't think it's a $70 and, game. And plus, people will probably be comparing it to Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, and, and that's... That's understandable, but they're and they're centuries apart in the in the timeline, and they're two different franchises. But yeah, you're always going to have that that comparison, unfortunately. But hmm. I think judging it by its own merits, I think it's an okay game. It's just not for me. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I made that mistake last year with uh, what uh, the what it, it like a dragon game that bought. <laughs> Yeah, I, I made that mistake. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat history. <laughs> <laughs> see, Chris says I haven't heard anything good about Ronan. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, some people say they like it, but most people are like, it's okay, it's nothing special. But once again, just like you were saying, it's, it's going to be, whether justified or unjustified, Fairly or unfairly, it's going to get compared with Ghost of Tsushima, even if they're, like, centuries apart, you know? All right, see you later, Dark Matter Wolf. Okay, so Bounty has a question about Sea of Thieves. How's the PvE? I would say the the PvE is pretty good. They've added a lot more uh, content to Sea of Thieves over the years. And I, I've been kind of keeping up on it. I haven't played it in a long time, but they've definitely added a lot of PvE and PvP content to Sea of Thieves. Especially compared to where the game was at when it launched a long time ago. So I feel like uh, PlayStation Pirates are going to be in for a, a real treat with Sea of Thieves. And I look forward to going back to it after all these years. And I'm also yeah. <laughs> glad I get to transfer over my Microsoft character. Because I don't want to start over again. Yeah, we especially need a good pirate game on PlayStation after Skull and Bones. Yeah... I hear it's discounted now, but I don't care. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, zero is a pretty good price tag, but I don't. I, I will go back to it whenever it has a deep discount or if I have nothing else going on. And maybe it's maybe if it's free one month, at the very least, I'll add it to my PlayStation library. I mean, but then again, if CFDs is, I know there's differences between CFDs and Skull of Bones, but I think I'd, I'd rather just go back to Sea of Thieves. Keep hearing it's a PS3 game that came out 12 years too late. Or are you talking about Skull and Bones? Well, yeah, Skull and Bones was in development for um, a very, very long time. I think he's either talking about Skull and Bones or a Rise of Ronin. Yeah, graphically it doesn't look like... You know, it doesn't... I look, I, I don't want to judge a game based off its graphics alone, right? Because that's not the most important thing. Gameplay is important, story character is important. But, yeah, graphically... It, for a 2024 uh, game, there are games older than it, like Ghost of Tsushima and Red Dead Redemption 2, that graphically look way better. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, prime example, right? Um, the Saints Row Name Only. You know, it, it looks worse than a 2013-year-old game that we're still playing. So... There's just some games out there that I just don't want to waste my time or money on. Uh, if you pre-order Sea of Thieves, you get access to the beta. Yeah, if you get, I think it's the premium. Yeah, yeah, that's what we thought, Icarus. Said. Yeah, I think, yeah, Destiny, what he was saying is, yes. Yeah, yeah, Rise of Ronin. Hey, has anybody in chat played Rise of Ronin? If so, give me your honest opinion about it. If you like it, that's fine, you know. Just tell me why you like it. If you don't like it, then tell me that too. Well, obviously no spoilers. But yeah, I think it's the premium of Sea of Thieves you have to order to get the early access. So that's probably the one I'll get. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, I think the PvP is completely avoidable in Sea of Thieves. Because I think they have like a separate uh, server for it. Yeah, I think that's something they introduced earlier this year or last year. Like, what is it called? I forgot what they call them. They call that particular um, server or whatever it is. Like, there is there, there is a Sea of Thieves server that's specifically PvE only. And, and that's probably the one we'll, we'll adventure on at first. And maybe if we get bored some days, we may just go into PvP just for shits and grins and just see what happens when we're just not really giving a fuck, you know? We just want to go on a swashbuckling adventure and... See what happens when we go up against other players, but not at first. You got the premium as well. Yeah, I still need to pre-order it, but I, I will eventually. But yeah, overall, this has been a pretty shit event in GT Online. Obviously, I haven't really touched anything in the event. Like, there's just nothing in this event week that is good. Yeah. How dare you applaud the amazing wilderness event take pictures because that's what I want in, on, a, on an action game. What yeah. about um, the amazing riveting? Uh, how is that shitty version of the Motor Wars? There you go. Yeah, the, the their Motor battle royale. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that that's that's content right there. Totally not forgotten. And I don't know what else is like. I w when I saw that, I was like, "Wow, I'm gonna reinstall this malware on my on my PlayStation 5. This is engaging as hell." Yeah. And yeah, it's, it, 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 <laughs> great. Yeah, it's just not a good event week. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least last week I had this to focus on getting getting uh, the sweet Porsche with the Los Angeles plates. So, at least that was something. <laughs> uh, save for Seismo, but you can only get 30% of the gold. And yeah, yeah, I mean, there is a... Yeah, I guess there is kind of like a, a price you have to be willing to pay in order to play uh, Save for Cells. But we'll see. I don't know. We'll... 
I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, I don't, I don't care where we play because as long as it's fun, as long as we have a good time playing see if these when it comes out. But yeah, Motor Wars. I remember when Motor Wars first came out, that first year of Motor Wars, they were promoting it all the fucking time. Like, some weeks it would be double money, some weeks it would even be triple money. And I, I just never really got into it. I mean, we played it several times and it, we maybe had some okay moments, but I never really felt like Rockstar could fully grasp what makes Battle Royale fun. Even though I came up with an idea video a long time ago about what to do in a Battle Royale. But they, they've tried a couple, like, Motor Wars wasn't the first time they've tried a Motor Wars type mode. I mean, a Battle Royale type mode. They even did one, uh, what, Gun Rush on Red Dead Online, I think, also? Yep. Yeah, that one... That was just as much of a flop as Motor Wars. Yeah. If not even more, because barely anybody... Yeah. Even then, barely anybody played Red Dead Online. Yeah, I think I won, I think I won like, one or two Gun Rushes, somehow. But... They just don't understand the fun part of the battle royale that's that's the problem i think they have they just don't fully get it but they keep they've kept trying i think they finally gave up which was probably for the best it's funny because they actually created an island that they could have used for a battle royale mode like kyle preco would be a a pretty decent 30 person battle royale you know not as big as fortnite but it, it's set up to where it could work as a mini battle royale. You you have weapons scattered around the island. You you jump in on what was it the Alkanost? Because there's even a mission where you one of the uh, Kayo Preco missions where you jump into the island on an Alkanost. So just use the Alkanost and have everybody jump out of an Alkanost, land across the island, pick up weapons, pick up health, and and armor and and ammo, and there you go. See, they could have done that, but they, they chose not to. And maybe they, they have, like, wild cougars and pumas on the island that are also trying to kill you. <laughs> Panthers. Well, I mean, it's the Fister Comet, okay? The, the S2 Cabrero. But it's a Porsche, okay? It's a fucking Porsche. But, yeah, it, ha it has lost of insurance plates on it. Well, what I mean was, you you could claim you could you could get it in the salvage mission last week. Now it's, I think it's the Wagner, and you can get uh, panic plates with it. I'm like, no, thank you. I don't care. I'm like, whoop de doo. I I want a vehicle with panic plates. No. Well, I was just driving it, Max. I was literally just driving it a moment ago. It's not claimable this week. It was last week. Like, okay, so the Chop Shop, Rockstar, what they're doing now, Rockstar, is new dripped content is every week, I think, this is what they're going to do. They're going to have one of the three vehicles in the salvage yard that will be claimable. No, okay, let me, let me explain, let me explain. This is something new they've, well, we knew about this for a while now thanks to data miners. Rockstar has started having one of the three vehicles as claimable, meaning that after you're done with the, the robbery, you have the option to claim the vehicle for $20,000, which is a pretty good deal. You don't get paid, but you get the vehicle, right? Last week, it was the S2 Cabrero, a.k.a. a Porsche, with the, the lost insurance plates on the back. And the lost insurance plates, you can change the, uh, the tag. You can put one of your vanity numbers or whatever you, you have. But it's exclusive right now to the Fister, to that Fister comment as to Cabrero. I know I'm, I'm butchering that name. That's why I just keep saying Porsche. But the Lost Insurance Plate was only available at the moment for that specific vehicle. In other words, you can't just go buy uh, a comment as to Cabrero off the websites. I don't even know if it's on the websites. Maybe not. Even if it is, you, you cannot get the, the LV plate for it. Unless you got the, the salvage yard version and you claimed it after you were done with the uh, McTony mission. 
This week it's the Wagner with panic plates. And guess what? I don't care. Now, maybe they'll have a vehicle next week with a Liberty City plate. And if it's a decent vehicle with the LC plates, hell yeah, I'm going after that. I'll claim that shit. Hell yeah, well. It's like Los Venturas, Liberty City. Hell yes. Panic. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> First you ever heard of it, well, I, I did do a video about it last week. And it's like it was like the only thing people were talking about last week. Well, people in GTA. I hope that they also do one where you can actually legitimately get the Yankton plate. Because I know, I know, there's a way to get the Yankton plate, I, I know. But I wouldn't mind a legitimate means of acquiring it. I think it would be pretty good in like, like an SUV or like an off-road vehicle. You know, something you would expect to see in the snow. So yeah, I think that would work. The Wagner didn't have the garage icon. Are you sure, Windows? Because uh, it's supposed to be claimable. That's what that's what Kane was telling me. But I mean, who knows? I, I think it's a cool idea. But whether or not Rockstar continues with it remains to be seen. I need to get off the bridge. But anyways, that's pretty much. I'm fucking this poor car up. That's pretty much it for uh, anything really going on in GTA this week or event-wise. Not much. I mean, it's not going to be till probably the summer before we get any new content at all, which won't be much because it's a summer update. And um, I'm uh, sorry for interrupt. I'm gonna go. Thank you, GB, all for right. inviting. See you later, Ed. I hope he has a really cool. Uh, yeah, noon. So yeah, hope you're doing well and goodbye. Right. Bye, Red. Yeah, that Red. Yeah, we'll probably be wrapping up soon, anyways. I mean, I think that we don't have much else going on. It was just gonna be a chill stream today. Just want to hang out, and chill, y'all, talk about random stuff. But tomorrow, tomorrow will be the bigger stream because we're gonna be wrapping up Chapter Six and Red Dead Redemption Two. So that's gonna be a very, very bittersweet. Uh, time tomorrow and we will I don't know how far we're going to get into the epilogue tomorrow I'm going inside the, I think there's an exit up here at least I hope so <coughs> or else I'm just going to close the app and just say screw it because I don't I think we've pretty much run out of topics to talk about for today which is, yeah, pretty much. Which is fine it was fun alright yeah. found an exit uh, you know what? I, I don't care about this car. I'm just going to close it up. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm done with GTA for today. But uh, before I go, UG, uh, feel free to uh, promote your channel. And by the way, I'm, I'm going to put everybody's channels below in the description section uh, when this becomes a video. And you can find their channels in the featured channel section of my channel. So, UG, what's going on with you? Well, I can't really do much at the moment, seeing as all my PCs in oh, the yeah, shop. Oh, yeah, it's in the so shop, I, yeah. Yeah, can't really stream at the moment. But I did manage to get uh, a replacement uh, CPU cooler. Um, it's ordered, but I have to wait at least two weeks for it to arrive. Okay. Well, it'll get here eventually, so that's good. Well, the best thing about it is, like, the, the guy that I brought it into, like, he's a good friend of mine. As long as I order the part and I just bring it in, he's going to install it for me. Very nice. Hmm. Cool. Uh, so what's going on with you, Destiny Metal TV? Well, I am thinking about what my next video is going to be. I don't have a concrete idea yet. <laughs> But I am thinking about maybe doing a video, another video where I talk about a topic, and it'll be like a something I haven't talked about yet before. Okay, well, well, go for it. So, 
Yeah. That'll be interesting. All right. Well, once Thanks again. around to making it. Yeah, and once again, check out uh, Yuji's channel, Destiny Metals channel, Red, the 8-Bit Dinosaurs channel. So I'll have them linked below in the description section. And they're all over in the featured section of my channel. I hope you guys uh, have a great weekend, and I uh, will catch you all later. Yeah, take it easy, folks. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So, yeah, that's enough GTA for today. Yeah, it was just a nice little fun chill stream. We talked about some serious topics. And once again, I hope that Gilly is able to get his issue resolved. He doesn't deserve what's happened to him over the past several days. I mean, 21 strikes, fraudulent strikes. I mean, if that's not a big, big giant red flag for Microsoft, I don't know what is. It's ridiculous. But it just makes people less inclined to want to play over on Xbox, myself included. And like I said, I've never been about the console war. I have a Switch. I have, I have an Xbox. I have a PlayStation. I just like the video games, you know, that happen to be played on these these pieces of hardware. But, yeah, it does suck. But, yeah, uh, next Saturday there will be no stream. I'm taking next Saturday off. My nephew, well, one of my nephews is having a birthday, and uh, I'll be attending his birthday. So that's happening next weekend, FYI. Well, next Saturday. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be wrapping up, uh, well, this game. Red Dead Redemption 2, well, not this game, the Chapter 6 of Red Dead Redemption 2, five years later. We'll still probably have at least one or two more you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 streams where we work our way through the epilogue and conclude the epilogue. But first things first, we got to finish Chapter 6 tomorrow. Very, very bittersweet. Arthur Morgan's final ride tomorrow, 12 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. UK, on Red Dead Redemption 2, five years later. So that's tomorrow. Not really looking forward to it, to, to be honest, but, you know, that's just the way these journeys go. But I do appreciate y'all being here. If you enjoyed today's stream, be sure and leave a like, and I hope y'all have a great weekend. And uh, once again, check out my friends' channels. Check out Yuji's channel, Red's channel, Destiny Metal's channel. Check out the vlogs channel Riley and I do, where we post, like, a you know vlog once a month. And uh, check out Riley's channel whenever she decides to do another stream or, or content. She's kind of busy with flight school right now, so obviously real life more important. But hopefully she'll stream soon. I don't know what she'll stream, but maybe something. Maybe maybe some Dead by Daylight. Maybe some Fortnite. Who knows? You never know when it comes to what Riley has planned. But uh, check out all the other friends' channels in the featured channels section. And a big thank you once again to all my amazing viewers, subscribers, fans, friends, mods who do a great job modding. Uh, heroes from March 2024 with their OG GB logo, Super Chat icons, and all of our members. If you want to learn more about the membership uh, opportunities and benefits, uh, click the join button. Unique badges, emojis, all members get shout out at the beginning of live streams. Include below in the description section of live streams, early access to at least one video a week. And there's obviously benefits specifically for elite members, deluxe members, and junior members as well. So, yeah, feel free and check out the membership program if you're interested. But just like with live chats, super chats, always appreciated, never, ever required. Just wanted to cite that right here and there. I do appreciate my members and my super chat heroes, but it's never necessary. I just appreciate y'all hanging out with me and, you know, liking you know, the videos and streams and subscribing to the channel, ringing, dinging that bell absolutely helps. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Back tomorrow, 12 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. UK, for Red Dead Redemption 2, Chapter 6, five years later. Until then, from me to you and you and you and you as well, from the bottom of my heart, as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>